All right, hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. Today we're in Sherman, Texas at Sunset Performance Engines. I'm joined by owner Joe Jolly. Between us here is a 655 cubic inch big block Chevy and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Joe. Yes, sir. Great to see you. Yes, sir. You too. Thanks for having us in the shop you today. Bet. You know, we just wrapped up a shop tour, which was awesome yeah. to go on. And, you know, this was one of the engines that you, you told us a little bit about mm -hmm. uh, while we were walking around and yep. wanted to know even more details about sure. it because it's pretty cool. Yeah. So 655 cubic inch, yeah. big block. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, this is, I think we did something maybe back in 2018 on the 632 nine degree where right. we were just kind of getting rolling into the nine degree stuff. And it's just, it's amazing what happens in, you know, five or six years on developments and things. And, and that's what this thing has turned into. I mean, if you do the math on one of these, I mean, we're, we're shoving 655 cubic inches still into a 10 2 4, 8, 40 bore space. Wow. So. Yeah. If you do the piston speed on that at 8,000, this thing has what a 500 inch engine was in NHRA Pro Stock when I was doing it at 11,000 RPM. Wow. So at 8,000, this thing had what they had at 11,000, yeah. you know, feet per minute. So um, yeah, it's 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 pretty amazing. But I mean, you look at the cylinder head and you know, with what I've learned through the years and applied to these things, it's basically a Pro Stock head as far as flow numbers go. Yeah. So the engine's nothing more than an air pump. It's not smart. It doesn't know anything else, you know? So yeah, when we turned, we went from the 615 and the 598s and the 615s and then the 632s and now the 655, that's when it really came to life for us. Um, you know, we just opened the bore up a little bit bigger. So it's a 4625 bore, 4875 stroke. Um, and the piston speed just showed us where did all this power come from. Yeah. So then when, now we've probably built 50 of them. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy to say that a 655 nine degree is like what a 582 used to be, you know, yeah. as far as like, I call it a cookie cutter engine now, cause we can just produce them like that. Right. And they all make within five horse of what they're supposed to, yeah. cause they're CNC'd from air inlet to air outlet. So there's really, unless we screw something up, there's nothing right. to miss, right. you know? And we do, yeah, we, I mean, this is the sheet metal and 2.4 version here. This one's on Q16 with a daily dry sump on it. And we've done half a dozen of this combination, I bet now, and they've all made between 1490 and 1496. Okay. Um, about 1060, 1070 torque. And we do a single carb version of this that we still make 1050, 1060 torque out of, but we can make over 1400 with one carburetor and a cast manifold. Wow. And there's just nobody out there that can say they can do that. Yeah. And we've got the time slips to back it up. That's awesome. So yeah, we've, we've been four, 18 kind of with our honey cuts dragster that, you know, and, and that's where I kind of came up with the 655 was we had the 674 five inch bore space, which was, we called it the little big man. And it just had its limitations and the cylinder head couldn't get to where these are. And Honeycutt kind of challenged me, said, hey, can you do, can you do one of those? I said, I don't know, let me think. So I just sat down did some math one night and I said, yeah, I can do that. Nice. So we did it and it's been a rocket ship and yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and the customers love them. So we're, we're selling a lot of these. Yeah. So Joe, you gave us a good amount of numbers on the, on the build and whatnot. How about some of the parts and the machine work that goes into? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, obviously this one's Brodix block, Brodix head. Um, we buy just the raw castings. Um, if you watch the tour, you'll probably see where we see and see, you know, everything here in house. Uh, we design all of our own port stuff. Uh, HRE manifold. I've worked with Dave Hughes in the very beginning of this to get the runner links and the tapers and everything like we wanted. And I used to do all the pro stock manifolds with him back in the day too. So, you know, it was kind of a good fit for us. Um, Cowley's Magnum Crank, Carrillo Rod, CP Carrillo Piston, Total Seal Ring. Uh, we run a 0 0.9 millimeter, like a 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 3 mil in this thing. Yeah. Um, there's 16 and a half to one compression. Okay. Um, T&D full rocker system, all steel rockers. Uh, we run Victory and Axeldyne titanium valves. We just, you know, whoever can get us valves, you know, yep. titanium just kind of up and down in the market. So we got to go between a couple of vendors there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we've done several of them now. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this one yet, but Jason Line that did, you know, NHRA Pro Stock with, yeah. you know, the Team Summit. 
Um, we've done probably 10 of his blocks now. So he's done his own cast block that we've you know, helped you know, give him our feedback on. And that thing is lights out good. Yeah. So that's a new cast block that hasn't hit the market yet. So Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yep. Now you mentioned it's a dry sump. How many, how many stages is this? Uh, it's a five stage. So you got four scavenge, one pressure, and it doesn't require a vacuum pump. Okay. So we can pull 18, 19 inches on this thing with no vacuum pump assistance. Yeah. And we've hung a vacuum pump on them before. It doesn't help. Yeah. You know, it will on like the 781s when you've got a five and a half inch stroke swinging around. Uh, more vacuum does help them, but we just don't see any benefit over 18, 19 inches with these. Yeah. So. Very good. And then obviously you got a couple get them, get them performance carburetors. Yes. Yes. So these are our signature four barrel stuff. I mean, we started that deal with Trevor and, you know, he builds those specifically for me. So the four barrel stuff is just my, des my design, my calibration. I got with him and said, this is what I need. Can you do it? And that guy is fantastic, you know? Um, so yeah, we do a ton of these. So yeah, and it's all billet stuff and we get everything anodized black. And that's what I say, these things are CNC'd now from air inlet to air outlet. You know, it didn't like your head porter had a bad day and missed your head by 40, 50 CFM, right. you know? So you, you just CNC machines and just that kind of capability and, and the working relationships with people um, have changed the industry. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, Joe, it's definitely a badass big block. Uh, anything that we're leaving out about it? No, not really. I mean, it's just basic stuff. I mean, we've got an Exeldyne belt drive. It's a 400 raised cam, 55 millimeter roller cam tunnel, 937 ISKI lifter, bushings, no needle bearings. Um, Cowley's grinds all my cams. I mean, a lot of people don't know they make cams, but yeah, they, they do all my camshafts for us now. So, and the heat treat, you know, we've been able to keep the base circles consistent. So I can actually pre-order push rods for these engines and, the, and they fit when you get them where before when you would get cams, you could have base circles 50, 70 thousandths off and you spend $600 on push rods and they don't fit. Right. So yeah, that's been a game changer for us too. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Well, Joe, yes, really sir. appreciate you telling right. us about this Anytime. big block Chevy. Yeah. Anytime. Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. Make sure you're checking out everything that Joe has going on here at Sunset Performance Engines and definitely check out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.